Here's a question that might seem impossible at first. What's the last digit of 2 to the power of 2024? Now, this number would have over 600 digits if we computed it directly, but there's a beautiful pattern hiding here that makes this almost trivial. Think about what 610 digits means. That's absolutely enormous, completely impractical to compute by hand. Clearly, we need a different approach. Now, the key insight is that finding the last digit is the same as computing this massive power modulo 10. This simple reframing opens the door to some elegant number theory. You see, the remainder when dividing by 10 is precisely the last digit. It's a beautiful connection between modular arithmetic and decimal representation. Since 10 factors as 2 times 5, and these are coprime, we can split this problem. We'll find the answer modulo 2 and modulo 5 separately, then combine them. Well, 2 to any positive power is even, so modulo 2, our answer is 0. That was easy enough. The real question is, what happens modulo 5? This is where things get interesting and where we'll need some heavier mathematical machinery. Enter Forma's Little Theorem, one of the most elegant results in number theory. The theorem says that if p is prime and a is not divisible by p, then a to the p minus 1 is congruent to 1 modulo p. What's remarkable is how general this is. Pick any base, any prime, and as long as the base isn't divisible by the prime, this pattern always holds. In our case, 5 is a prime and 2 is not divisible by 5, so 2 to the 4th power must be congruent to 1 modulo 5. We can check this directly. 2 to the 4th is 16, and 16 leaves remainder 1 when divided by 5. The theorem checks out. Since powers of 2 repeat every 4 steps modulo 5, we need to see where 2024 lands in this cycle. Dividing by 4 gives us exactly 506, with no remainder. This means we can rewrite our expression as 2 to the 4th, all raised to the 506th power. But we know 2 to the 4th is 1 modulo 5, so this entire expression becomes 1 to the 506th power, which is simply 1. This captures the essence of why Forma's theorem is so powerful. It takes these enormous exponential expressions and reduces them to something manageable. So we've, we've established that our number is 0 modulo 2 and 1 modulo 5. Now we need to find what single digit satisfies both conditions. We're looking for a digit that's even, but when divided by 5 leaves remainder 1. Let's think through the possibilities. The answer is 6. It's even, satisfying our first condition, and 6 divided by 5 does indeed give remainder 1. And there we have it. The last digit of this massive number is 6. What started as an intractable computation became a simple exercise in modular arithmetic, all thanks to a theorem discovered over three centuries ago.